US $1.3 trillion clothing industry employs more than 300 million people along the value chain. The production of cotton alone accounts for almost 7% of all employment in some low-income countries. Clothing represents more than 60% of the total textiles used and is expected to remain the largest application. In the last 15 years, Clothing production has approximately doubled, driven by a growing middle-class population across the globe and increased by capita sales in mature economies. The latter rise is mainly due to the fast fashion phenomenon, with quicker turnaround of new styles, increased number of collections offered per year, and often lower prices. The current system for producing, distributing and using clothing operates in an almost completely linear way. Large amounts of non-renewable resources are extracted to produce clothes that are often used for only a short period after which the materials are largely lost to landfill or incineration. It is estimated that more than half of fast fashion produced is disposed of in under a year. This linear system leaves economic opportunities untapped, puts pressure on resources, pollutes and degrades the natural environment and its ecosystems and creates significant negative societal impacts at local, regional and global scales. Globally, customers miss out on 460 billion US dollars of value each year by throwing away clothes that they could continue to wear and some garments are estimated to be discarded after just 7 to 10 wears. A new textiles economy relies on four ambitions. It would lead to better economic, environmental and societal outcomes, capturing opportunities missed by the current linear textiles system. In such a new textiles economy, clothes, fabric and fibers are kept at their highest value during use and re-enter the economy after use, never ending up as waste. A. Phase out substances of concern and microfiber release. B. Transform the way clothes are designed, sold and used to break free from their increasingly disposable nature. C. Radically improve recycling by transforming clothing design, collection and reprocessing. D. Make effective use of resources and move to renewable inputs. Moving towards a circular economy goes far beyond traditional measures to reduce the negative impacts of the current linear system. It entails shifting to an entirely new system and cannot be achieved merely through incremental improvements. Transforming the industry to usher in a new textiles economy requires system-level change with an unprecedented degree of commitment, collaboration and innovation. <laughs>